This is question four from paper 33 from the June 2020 exams from Cambridge International. Up the top right of the screen here, you'll find a card that'll bring you to the playlist that has all my solutions for the questions in this paper. And below the video, you'll find a link to an image of this question so you can try it before looking at my solution. In this question, they give us a curve with this equation, y is equal to x times the inverse tangent of x over two. Now in an exam, you're not gonna be able to know what that looks like, I wouldn't think anyway, although some people have good graphing calculators. But we're not in an exam right now, so go ahead and use a graphing, um, a online graphing uh, calculator. And I'll, I'll, pop that, I'll pop one up on the screen right now, and uh, you can see what this looks like, sort of a U-shape. I'll copy it onto the board while you're looking at that. So here's my uh, bad drawing of it. I should hit the center here, I think. I don't have it on my screen, unfortunately. That's what I remember this looking like anyway. Um, so yeah, this just gives us a good idea, something we're looking at. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter for part A, it's more for part B. Now part A, they ask us to find the derivative of this. Um, they want dy dx. And now this is split into two expressions. We just need to use the product rule on this. It looks very scary because of the inverse tangent, but we're actually given the answer to that. Let me write that over here. Um, the derivative of, so d dx of the inverse tangent of, of x divided by something, or multiplied by something really, you can think of it. If you want, let me get my notes. Um, you are given the answer if this is equal to a divided by a squared plus x squared. In this case, it looks exactly like that. There's an x divided by a two. So we can, we can differentiate the tangent fine. We can differentiate the x fine. So we'll just use the product rule. Okay, product rule, let's take the first one. Um, x, leave it alone, and differentiate the second one. Doesn't matter which way you do the product rule. Differentiate the second one. So here's the answer. Um, a is two in this case. So this is two divided by two squared is four plus x squared. Uh, let's put a bracket there so we don't uh, confuse that. And then let's uh, do the opposite. Let's differentiate the first one. That's one and leave the second one alone. So that's the inverse tangent of x over two. I'll write that as and that's, I guess that's it for the part A, that's dy dx. I guess you could clean this up, put the x in there, but no examiner is gonna take a mark off for that. Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave it as that, and we'll go on to part B. Now part B, as we've seen the picture, so they tell us that where x is equal to two, so here, uh, we get um, the tangent of the curve, sorry, the tangent, let me get another color. The tangent of the curve at point two, looks something like this. I sort of know what the answer is, so I made it look a little like that. Um, we'll meet the y-axis at some point, zero p. So this point here is p. And that's the y-intercept. So how do we find that? Now, if we find this yellow, let me use the yellow mark, the green, red, I don't know what's wrong with my colors. y is equal to mx plus c, or I guess in p in this case, because it's gonna equal p. Let's write P in there. So if we just get the equation of this line, we'll find P no problem. And the equation of a line, M is actually equal to the derivative, and we've got the derivative, so this should be no problem to us. Because uh, the derivative, let's, let, let, let me write like this. M, this is, this M here, this slope, is equal to the derivative at X equals uh, two, wasn't it? Two. So let's find out what m is equal to. Uh, put two in, we get two times two is four. Uh, two times two is four, so uh, four over eight, or a half. Let me write that as. At the inverse tangent of two divided by two, double check on a calculator, but you'll get um, pi over four, if you're in radians, which you need to be, or you get 45 degrees. Be careful if you get 45 degrees, because you cannot add 45 degrees plus a number. Um, so you need to be in radians. So that's m. Uh, let's see, what do we need here? We need to find p. So I need to know what m is, I need to know what x is, and I need to know what y is. Okay, m is that, x is equal to two. They tell us that. So what's y? Here's y up here. y is equal to two times the inverse tangent of, of one again. 
uh, this is 2 times pi over 4, which that's equal, 2 goes in the bow, that's equal to pi over 2. So we have everything we need. Uh, let me make a little bit of room here. We don't need that equation again. So again, I'm just copying uh, this line here. Y is equal to pi over 2. That's equal to m, which is a half plus pi over 4. That's m here. Uh, x is 2. So y, m, x. There, that's where I knew x. Or they gave us x in the question, really. And then plus, plus p, plus the y-intercept. That's what they want. Uh, and this is great because I don't know p and I know all the other numbers. I can just rearrange it. That's what you always want in the equation. Let's multiply the 2 in. We get pi over 2 is equal to 1. 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2. Pi over 2 on both sides. They're gone. Uh, plus p. So I guess we're left with 0 on this side. So p is equal to minus 1. That's it. We're finished. And this must have been minus 1 here. Um, you, could, you could have set that up a little different, I guess, in some bits to get the equation of the line. But I, I think that's the most straightforward way. Let's, let's bring back up our graphing calculator. Let's, uh, well, let's wait a second. Let's graph this here. Let's graph um, y is equal to, where is it? Oh, m is a half. Yeah, I'll have to put this in the graphing calculator, but that's fine. I can do that. A half times x minus 1, because that's what we know the y-intercept is. Let's graph that onto our graphing calculator. Hopefully we get something that looks like this. Should be on the screen right now. It, well, if it's wrong, I'll, I'll redo the entire thing, so I'm guessing I'm correct. I really recommend playing around with graphing calculators like that. It's a, it can be a really helpful way to understand maths better. You might think it's a waste of time. You didn't need it to do this question, but it does help your understanding. I recommend you use it. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to help. See you next time.